In this part of the tutorial, I want to uh, start adding more materials and setting up some lights and some rendering settings. And I want to show you how you can speed this up uh, by using some presets that you can save out. So number one, I want to go to my material editor. And uh, again, I'm just uh, using the uh, compact material editor, not the, the big slate one. What I want to do is I want to open up a material library that I've already created. So you can actually save these out once you've created them. I'm just going to uh, open up one that uh, I've used in the past. If you do want to save out one that you've made, you can go down here to the scene materials and save that as a, as a new library. Uh, one of the ones here that I've uh, made for this uh, tutorial is a bathroom demo one, so I'm just going to open that, um, and I'll just replace the one that probably already got open. And what I have here is um, all the materials from a previous scene. So uh, I've named most of them, um, I've been a bit lazy, I haven't named everything, but uh, it, it's good practice to, to name all the items you want. So I'm just going to load in uh, some other ones into the slots here. So I've got my, my white ceiling material, uh, my standard gray material, bathtub, um, black metal, stainless steel, um, oh, I've already done my concrete in this, so I'm going to do that, my mirror material, uh, and I think the other one I don't really need to focus on just yet, um, porcelain, and I did one for Corona. Uh, everything else uh, we won't need to look at right now. So I've loaded in some of my core materials here and uh, I can now go and start to select items in the model and apply the materials to them. Uh, what's great is when you link a data set from Revit into 3ds Max as it creates all these layers here for you. So you can go and grab all these items and if you need to uh, understand which ones they are you can turn them on and off. And you can see here, these are just all my white walls. And then I can right click on that um, white ceiling material. So white ceiling, gypsum, uh, and then just uh, assign that. So uh, very quickly, uh, another quick way to do it, depending on how you prefer to work, is just to turn off the items that you've added materials to. So I know this, this uh, wall here, um, I've added a material to already in the previous tutorial select by material it shows me that it's a, a part and I can just uh, go and hide that selection um, the WC if I want to uh, check the material that's on that WC I'll just go and do that um, this one just has two materials one it has a autodesk metal and the other it has ceramic There's some construction works going on in the background so what I'm, what I'm going to do is just um, replace some of these items with the um, materials I have here. So I think uh, I'm going to use, I'll use the porcelain to do the ceramic instance it. And again, I'm not having to do too much to that original material, I'm just replacing the sub-materials. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, and I'm going to uh, bring in that stainless steel <laughs> material. So now I've got that um, done for my uh, WC. And I've got a freestanding bath and I think I already had a, a material. I can even just drag and drop it in. And you can see that's a little bit back to front. So let me just try to actually I'm gonna cancel it. So if it's going back to front, uh, what you can do is you can change this ID here, one and one, and that will uh, adjust how it actually applies to the model. So and it looks like I applied it to the wrong component. So let me just go here. Um, that, turn that off, and then that one should be that one, turn that off, freestanding basin, uh, so those basin, that basin, the shrouds, that shroud, um, apply, turn them off, then um, these items, so you get the picture, um, and sometimes it might feel a bit laborious, but uh, it's going to give you a really nice render at the end. So, uh, towel rails, uh, things like toilet roll holders. You can see I've gone through quite a bit of detail. 
I'm just going to make them all stainless steel. That shower at the moment is that particular multi mat material, so I'm just going to replace it with the bathtub material, and that should come out okay. So let me just uh, hide those selections. Uh, the floor, the floor is all parts. So uh, unfortunately, the parts doesn't give you um, individual uh, names. Uh, so if I select all those parts and I just want to grab them, uh, you can see here I don't want the wall parts. So I'm just going to do that and um, I'll create a new just using my alt key to deselect I'll, so those are my parts so if I want to manage all those uh, floor parts and not have the wall parts uh, inside of max it should allow me to group them so if I just um, isolate that selection and I'll just go to my, my user view here just so you can sort of see what I'm, I'm selecting. So I want all those floor components, I want to put a texture on them. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of uh, the items I don't want to see. So I'm just going to do my uh, isolate selection because uh, this isn't all set up perfectly with layers because I use the shortcut and Revit for uh, my divide part. So um, isolate selection. And what I want to do here is actually just group it. And it might not even do it. No, it's not making me. Uh, let me just do Okay, so grouping may not work, but you can use uh, an assembly tool here. So I could just say floor um, all. And now if I need to go and grab those components, I can just go down and go floor and all, and then attach them to those, to those parts. So there's all these little management tools you can use in Max to help speed it up. And uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to uh, reuse that. Uh, I'm not gonna use timber on the floor. I'll reuse this uh, concrete material, apply that. And because I've done the um, tiling inside of the um, scaling inside of the actual material as opposed to UVW map, it, it tiles pretty well. So let's uh, end, isolate, go back to um, uh, the main model, the parts that I haven't uh, done yet. And I'm just going to turn those off for now. Uh, the door, I'm just going to use some of the default materials. So um, this one, I just want to make a basic uh, whitish grey V-ray material, uh, I'll just leave that on standard. Because the door's not on the image, uh, I'm not going to uh, worry too much about texturing it. And then the last few things here, anything you don't see, you can just put on those those textures. Um, a grey colour is probably better to use because it doesn't bounce light around. Ceiling, uh, we'll put all on white ceiling, hide selection. And you can do this by the layers as well, I just like to, to work a bit quicker. Um, I'm just going to hit Control c to turn my camera off so it's not in the view. And uh, just grab uh, these, last, these last few items. And uh, I'm just going to make them all um, stainless steel. Hide them. Oops. Hide selection and uh, for the last bit, for these uh, components, I don't need my. For these last bits, I just want to uh, make them all mirror. This is my mirror material. And I don't need to hide too much anymore. So I've done that material, I've done these materials. This one, uh, we'll just put, uh, we'll just drop that on there. And then for the uh, floor drains, attention to detail here, uh, I'm going to make them all uh, stainless steel. So there's the um, uh, model texture, unhide by, uh, sorry, unhide, unhide all. And we'll go back to our camera view, and now we have a uh, model to do a quick uh, test render on.